What's going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 19 video on the channel. Uh, EA Sports has announced a new FIFA 19 update. Uh, this time it includes also a few things about uh, the gameplay and in the next minute we're gonna read and we're gonna see exactly what is going on at this moment. What has EA decided to change? Don't forget to drop a like if you are enjoying the content on the channel and if you want to see more FIFA 19 videos going live ASAP. So guys, we're gonna read through it and uh, then commentate. So, hey FIFA fans, latest uh, update is already available on PC. We've got the following changes. You can now make changes to your game plans in the pause menu during a match. Changes made to your game plans during a match will not be saved after completion of that match. Okay, that's good. Swapping players in the pause menu during a match while on the balanced game plan will now apply those changes to the other game plans. Uh, this only applies if you make the changes to the balanced game plan. Changes made in the pause menu during a match to another game plan will be localized to only those game plans and would need to be manually made in the other game plans. Given the above, if making a, a change to your team due to a red card, for example, make sure that the change is being made to the balanced game plan. In situations where the formations being used in your non-balanced game plans are significantly different than those in your balanced game plans, the swaps may not happen automatically. What does this mean? Wait. So in situations where the formations being used in your non-balanced, okay, are significantly differ different than those in your balanced game plans, the swaps may not happen automatically uh, this may me may mean yeah that uh, the ball needs to go out of bounds in order for the change to happen uh, actually there's an explanation for example if you are playing with a formation on your balance game plan that has a left back and swap a striker into the left back spot and then change to a game plan where there is no left back such as uh, three at the back formation the swap may not be made automatically same thing i think the ball needs to go out of bounds uh address the following issues okay and now this is i think a game changer the following issues for volleys where the player fully leaves the ground during the kick such a bicycle kick some players were incorrectly taking these kicks without meeting the agility attribute okay that's good that means no more center backs uh, no more CDMs that shouldn't be doing um, these type of bicycle kicks. That's good, that's good. Uh, to further explain the above, these type of kicks can happen in appropriate situations for players who have an agility attribute of 80 or higher or who have the flare trait without the player having to hold down the flare shot button. Okay guys, mm -hmm. That's not really a fix because a lot of offensive players have over 80 agility. This means that uh, nothing changes for players that have over 80 at agility. It means they will still be able to do insane bicycle kicks. Okay, that's mm -mm. they should have also downgraded a bit the efficiency for players over 80 at agility because this type of shot is way too overpowered so uh, next these kicks were happening in unrealistic situations such as when the kicking player was bunched up with other players yeah it didn't happen to me to be honest um, uh, these kicks are now more likely to be impacted okay by error resulting in potentially less accuracy speed and spin yes there we have it EA that's what I wanted to read to here so uh, they've downgraded the insane volleys uh, next we've got a lot of rarely so rarely keepers were not picking up the ball when it was close to them it happened to me consider a goal like that glad it's fixed uh, keepers were uh, trapping the ball outside of the box despite an attacking player being near them instead of clearing the ball yes sir happened also so 
Um, let's say the opponent does a long pass over your defense. Goalkeeper, um, I select, I don't select the goalkeeper. I tell the goalkeeper to go out and he's very close to the striker in the moment that uh, he gets the ball. I don't really have the time to uh, spam the shot button to clear the ball and the goalkeeper was making a first touch. Now, in those situations, they will just clear the ball. Uh, rarely when the keeper was rushing out of the net, you were unable to take control of him using the move keeper controls. Okay, I did not try that. Rarely after positioning your keeper with move keeper controls, the keeper would dive out of the way of the incoming shot. Okay, uh, yeah, it happened to me. What have we learned here? It is obvious they will not disable controlling the keeper this option a lot of players in division one a lot of top players are using this in order to defend certain shots uh, okay rarely keepers were not picking up the ball after knocking it down with a tip down save okay when playing in a mode with two human controlled players on a team such as in pro clubs or co-op seasons the opponent's defenders were not responding to an attacker running behind the defensive line during a goal kick. Yeah, I've seen this. I've seen this. Uh, it's an incredibly ugly glitch. So, uh, let's say you're playing together with a teammate. Um, you're playing in a squad, right? So, your uh, your opponent has a goal kick. Go a goal kick. Um, they move one of their strikers up the field manually and uh, the keeper just does a long long pass if you don't pay attention to that your defender line doesn't automatically go deeper for that player they leave that player there and the long pass goes to him remember it's not an offside from a goal kick next um, when taking a goal kick uh, where the target for the kick is very far down the field, the ball was traveling too fast. Uh, it's related to what I just told you. Players will no longer wait to throw, to take a throw in due to a keeper being out of position. Okay, uh, some changes now to ultimate team. These are good. These are really good. Uh, we have made changes to the division rivals pre-match flow in an effort to reduce the difficulty of some players finding a match. Your op opponent's FUT club uh, established date no longer available, uh, FUT club name and squad name no longer available, online ID no longer uh, available with one exception. You will still be, still be able to see your opponent's online ID if you use the list members button. <laughs> Uh, which we are working to remo remove in a future title update when available so they didn't really fix this they will do it in the next patch you will still be able to see it. the opponent in division one yeah okay uh, we are looking to continue to make changes in this area and future title updates when and if available uh, yeah i appreciate what you are doing but i got only one question you knew this from Foot Champions regarding the cherry picking. You know, if you saw a player is top 100, uh, um, you could avoid him. Why? This is one year old from FIFA 18. Why not add it from the beginning? Okay. Address the following issues. The uh, impact to a player's attributes from chemistry were not displaying uh, properly. Ah, this was purely visual. Uh, squad battles refresh timer was uh, very rarely not counting. These are Okay, I'm not seeing big changes here Latency bar in division rivals were not properly updating based on the latency Okay, okay, that's good uh, So for example, I felt in some games I had uh, only green bars and then the, the game was very delayed now I'm gonna see really how the connection will be in the game uh, sometimes a player's FUT coin balance, it happened to me, would display as zero <laughs> after being outbid on an item. Uh, this was a visual issue only. Yeah, I got scared a bit. Uh, it happened to me once, then I went out of FIFA, started FIFA again, it worked. Not a big issue to be honest. 
Online modes. Address the following issues. Mm, resolve some issues where the pause menu would not close. Sometimes in pro clubs your virtual pro would be playing the wrong position in a match. Happy you fixed that. Also some changes to career mode. Uh, also guys, this link will be in the description below. You will be able to check it out on your own. Uh, game modes EFL Championship trophy is now being presented in the final match of the EFL Championship Cup and uh, Kickoff sub changes to kickoff trades also FIFA trainer audio Visual presentation your opponent in an online match will no longer be able to skip your goal replays um, It is annoying uh, I don't do that for stupid goals or if I'm not uh, recording uh, for a road to glory or for champions uh, I don't leave a replay after a nice goal because uh, I know it's annoying but sometimes for uh, For the road to glory for the foot champions for you guys on YouTube I would like to see a replay at a goal but you can't that you can't do that at this moment because the opponent can skip the goal replays update to a number of team kits Okay, update the stadium uh, Oh, address the following issues. So these were next one here or bugs. Rarely keepers after making a save would warp into the net. I like the expression warp. Rarely when the keeper was making a save close to the 18 yard line or the byline, they would perform a slow animation. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, these here, all of them are little bugs from the game. So overall guys, what has changed? The, the big things, the most important ones uh, are here. So apparently we won't be having any problems with the game plans if we swap players after minute one. Afterwards, uh, goalkeepers, you will still be able to move uh, the goalkeepers to control them. AI defending, I don't think they touched it. They don't announce anything about it. They have downgraded the bicycle kicks, so that's good. Two good things. Downgrade bicycle kicks and uh, also the first one, uh, which I almost forgot about the game plans. Two big changes. Uh, we need uh, extra two or at least one. AI defending. Take care of AI defending, please, EA. Just downgrade it just a bit. Make it more manual and the game could be absolutely perfect. So guys, a link to the patch, to the info about the patch will be in the description below. Don't forget to drop a like if you're enjoying the fuck on uh, 19 content on the channel. My name is Ovi and I'll see you guys later.